what inspired you to document your journey on Instagram? Um, because you do, uh, you started this at the beginning of uh, PA school or once you got accepted, right? Yes. And I had like planned that I was going to do it before then too. So there was definitely some anticipation for starting. I was pretty excited to start it up because um, I had like a very intentional focus for my Instagram. I had found that following uh, a few other Instagram accounts when I was going through the application process. With, yes. So I had followed a couple of Instagram's accounts when I was applying and I just found it super uh, interesting to see what it was like to be a PA student and the different uh, kind of um, ways that the programs were set up and how they were surviving PA school because I heard it was so intense and just um, hearing the different stories that they had to share with patients and everything. So there were a couple accounts, I'd say, I think um, at the time, Arthi's account was the main one that I was following for UFT and then SAF and then from McMaster University and then Carmen from Manitoba. I really appreciated how there was like a, um, students from each of the three programs. You really got a glimpse of what the different programs were like. So I enjoyed seeing those different accounts. And so um, that kind of inspired me to think, oh, maybe this is something I could be involved in. So I really like being involved in different extracurricular activities. And given that the U of T program was online, I figured, hey, this is kind of like an extracurricular that I could be involved in, kind of doing a bit of advocacy for the PA prof uh, profession, but also offering some mentorship and leadership because those are things that I'm really passionate about and I really enjoy. So um those are kind of the reasons why I decided to start my Instagram page. And it's been so awesome kind of being in communication with some uh, students who are interested in the PA profession and being able to share with them my experience and um, just encouraging them along the way and being able to celebrate with them because I think that's really exciting when it is such kind of like a new profession and it's not that big. It's nice to be able to kind of like encourage each other and celebrate, um, especially with COVID when we're all like, not being able to interact with each other as much. It's like this really neat community that's online. What ideas do you usually decide to, uh, to share and do you plan them ahead of time? Like what's your whole process around that? Yeah, so I, like, I try to be intentional to plan ahead of time, but I feel like I, I get too excited about one thing so that I'm just like, okay, I'll just post it. And then I, like, I don't necessarily follow a strict schedule and I'd like to be a little bit more organized because I think it would help me, especially during busy weeks where I'm just like, okay, I'm just going to put my phone away for like a little while because I just can't. Um, and also like, I usually try to take like one day a week. I just turn off because I don't like, it's just a lot with school as well, but it is like a nice creative outlet. And I really enjoy the aspect of it. So for coming up with different ideas, oftentimes when I'm just coming like, when I'm just like thinking or doing something, I'm like, oh, hey, I wonder if like, this is something that I would be interested as like a, a pre PA student, like hearing about. So I just like write a little, like I have a little notes in my phone and I'm like, write it down. Like, okay, maybe that's something I could touch on. And then another big um, part about where I like come up with different ideas is just like through messages from students and they ask me different questions and I'm like, oh, that's a great question. Um, just post my response for everybody. So if anybody else had the same question, they can hear about it as well. Um, and then just trying to share a little bit about like personally how I'm dealing with PA school to be like as transparent um, I like about the PA school process um, I think like a couple weeks ago I was feeling so burnt out from school um, it was just like a lot of school and it's just really hard like being at home and there's just a lot going on right now so I felt extremely burnt out so I posted about it because I'm like okay I want to like mention that this is something that that happens and like how I'm coping with that so trying to be transparent on what is currently going on just thinking random things that pop in my head that may be of interest and then um the direct messages with pre -peace. um any any other uh, final words or notes you wanted to mention before we wrap up? I can think of. I'm just wishing everybody the best of luck with the application process because I know it's extremely stressful. So um, don't be too hard on yourself and don't do it all at once to get super overwhelmed. Take breaks in between if you need it. Um, yeah, and if you have any questions about 
peaceful. You can always message me. I don't really have anything extra on that. I just want to thank you, Anne, so much for having me. It's been um, so wonderful to chat with you a bit and, like I said, meet face to face because I've used so many of your resources. It's so amazing, like what you're doing for the PA community and how you progress like advocacy so much i think most of the most of the way people like learn more about the pa profession is just through going through the different profiles in your page and stuff it's just, it's really awesome like community that you've created